Hello, my friends. Howdy, freaking do. So, today, got a lot of things going on. Look, the garage is it's getting there. We're getting there. We're getting some boxes unpacked, getting some things put away. You know, we're getting there. I got the RO water going. It's been, this has been on for a day already. I don't know if you guys make your own RO water at your houses, but whoever does, they know how long it takes. Dude, it's such a slow process. This is 24 hours of waiting right here. It's crazy. But the reason why we're filling this up, though, is because Vic and Lou are sending me the piece that I need for my Red C900 or my Red C1000, um, the 300 gallon that we are going to set up here shortly. So stay tuned for that video. It's going to be really soon. And uh, Bulk Reef Supply sent me that reverse osmosis unit. This thing is sick. So yeah, shout out Bulk Reef Supply. Guys are awesome. Sent me out this RO unit that I've been using for a while now. I just haven't made a video on it yet. So I'll put all the links below. You know, whenever I do make that video, you know, which will be soon. I'm really excited about setting up the 300 gallon. It's gonna be a nice house tank. No more predatory tank, even though I love my predatory stuff. But this tank was gonna be a really nice, like soft coral tank, some anemones, a lot of clownfish, just a lot of life and a lot of movement, lots of colors. But that is not what we're doing today. Today, we're about to head out to the backyard and uh, we're building a chicken coop today. We're meeting up with Loxahatchee Silkies and uh, we're gonna get a bunch of eggs. And then we're gonna incubate the eggs. We're gonna hatch out some babies. We're gonna raise some chickens. It's gonna be sick. I love chickens, man. We're gonna have a rooster, a bunch of hens, egg laying hens. That way, you know, me and Gianna and the baby we got eggs for breakfast every day or whatever else we need eggs for and uh it's gonna be great man i just i really i really can't wait to be like more self-sustained obviously i'm not gonna be completely self-sustaining out here but uh you know having eggs is gonna be fresh eggs i don't know if you guys have ever tasted a fresh egg before way better than store-bought they're delicious we gotta get all this crap situated real fast so before we get into this video and open up these boxes I'm going to uh, just do a little, do a fast little haul on this. And then when the baby chicks do hatch, we're going to set up this 150 gallon Rubbermaid. This is going to have, you know, Aspen in the bottom of it. I'm going to set up a couple heaters, a heat light, the feeder, the water, all that stuff for the baby chicks. And they're going to be really freaking cute. I don't know if you guys know what silky chickens are, but they're my favorite. They're just like these super fluffy, adorable very very funny personality dude i can't freaking wait to have them all right so i got all the boxes moved over here from over there oh we got you hear that it's my neighbor's big ass king corso so pretty sure i want to put the chicken coop right here because eventually the building the snake building slash tattoo room is going to go over here where my boat is at pretty much and then once the building is done and everything's moved into the building, I'm going to have a couple guys come out here. I just got to see who. I'm talking to a lot of people online, a couple roofers and electricians. Pretty much want to gut all this out, put a new roof on here, new walls, new door, new everything. Just pretty much redo this entire building because it's really cool. And it's on a concrete slab already, which is sick. So I want to put running water, electricity, make this a really cool part of the property also. So check this out. So this is pretty much what it is going to look like. So this is like the little hide box, you know, a little chicken area laying, sleeping grounds. And then this is a chicken run. Okay. And then this door right here, you can actually switch this guy out to an automatic door, which is really cool because then you can just have your little chicken door on a timer that'll open up in the morning, let your chickens out, let them run around, do their little chickeny thing. And then at night when the sun's going down, they, dude, they're so freaking smart. They know where they sleep. They know where they're safe and secure. They go right back into the chicken run and up into their little house laying area. Dude, it's going to be sick. I'm so excited to have chickens. So the first thing that I'm going to do is get this box opened up, get all the boxes actually opened up, get all the parts laid out so I can see them visually. That way when I'm reading the directions, I have just like everything out make it a lot easier to figure out where things are and what's what you know what i mean so let's get this done real quick good morning all right 
I didn't get everything done yesterday. I pretty much got everything out of the boxes, and then I had to help Gianna with the baby. Next thing you know, it's pitch black outside, and I wanted to just relax. So the way that I like to do things is you see how I have everything set out? We have the number of the part right up top. So Q1, P1, everything is nice and visible. E, E, S, everything is up top and laid out. So that way when we're going through this, it's pretty easy to tell which section is what. Like this is the chicken run. So obviously those big pieces over there are where this is and then everything else is this little hut. Pretty simple directions. So we're gonna get this thing thrown together. Hopefully it doesn't take too long. In the directions it says estimated time of assembly is one hour. So let's, uh, let's see how long it's really gonna take me. Say good morning alligators. Hello. Look at these guys. So these are the new alligators you guys haven't even seen yet. They're super skittish, but they're nice and plump. They're rescue alligators. One of my friends was keeping them and couldn't take care of them anymore. So now I got them here. And then we have the birdies. Would you guys like to say hi? Would you like to say hi? Hi, Chloe. Hello. So cute. All right, so we're starting to kind of look like something. Thankfully, everything in this kit is labeled perfectly. So it's really easy to assemble. Everything is numbered, even all the screws, every box of screws is numbered as well. So you see how there's a space in between the bottom and this panel right here? I'm pretty sure that is for the slide. There's like a little poop tray that slides in and out of there. I'm pretty sure that's where that fits. Let's get this thing zapped together. Got a new drill. The impact, holy crap. What a difference, guys. I don't know who the heck recommended this in the last video, but that other hammer drill that I have is just such a piece of crap compared to this thing. This thing is what I need. It makes life so much easier. The thing that they don't really specify in the directions, but these bottom brackets, there's like these little, like these little flanges of wood, these little wooden dowels almost. You have to make sure that you have the holes aligned like right inside here, there's holes because on other pieces, there's dowels sticking out that need to go into those holes. So you have to make sure you have everything lined up because if you go put it together and the holes are on the opposite side, then you gotta take it apart and flip it around. And it's just a huge pain in the ass. But I'm just learning as I go. It's coming together pretty quickly, honestly. The directions say you need two people, but I'm doing this by myself and it's not hard at all. We're gonna get this thing pretty much built. We're gonna take a little intermediate break here in a few hours. Obviously this video is gonna be edited different so it's just gonna happen real fast for you guys. But we're actually gonna go meet up with Silky's of Loxahatchee. And uh, she's gonna give me a bunch of silky chicken eggs. And we're gonna do this completely from scratch guys. So instead of me going and buying chicks already, we're gonna go get the eggs, incubate them ourselves so that way you guys can see them hatching and you can experience the whole thing. It's going to be freaking awesome. And then we're going to raise up the chicks. And once they're big enough, they're going to go in the chicken coop, obviously. But it's going to be a while. I think um, it's crazy how fast chickens grow, though. Chickens can start laying eggs at 12 weeks. So from the time of their hatch date, 12 weeks from then, they're laying eggs already. It's freaking nuts. It's so fast. And then me and Gianna are going to be eating eggs every morning, baby. I'm excited. Boom, baby. Look at this, dude, this thing is freaking sweet. So tight, it's awesome. So this, this is the whole like laying box, you know, we got it sectioned off right there. Got a little poop tray going on right here. This is the door entrance. So now I'm about to build the chicken run on the outside of it. And we're not gonna keep it here, obviously. I'm gonna position it right here next to my shed, that way, I have electricity out here and whatever else that I need. I keep all the feed inside for everybody in the shed. All the animal stuff is going to be pretty much kept out here so it'll be perfect. And the chicks will be raised in the shed also. And then obviously eventually when I get my emus and all that other stuff, everything will be raised inside here. That way we don't have to raise you know a bunch of little chickens in the house and stuff. But we're going to set it up right here. It'll be perfect. Also, another big reason why I want to put it out here 
is because you see where the shade line is. I don't want this to be beaten by the sun all day long. I want my chickens to have a nice shady, cool area. That way, if they want to get out of the chicken run, get some sunlight, whatever the case is, they can totally do that. But if they also just want to be nice in the shade, it'll be perfect. This is a nice little shady area provided by the overhang right here. That'll be perfect for them. This thing is pretty heavy though, and I've been doing this all myself so far. I got Gianna's dad here finally. He's over here hanging out, helping me out with the house and stuff. Thank you, Bobby. But uh, Bobby's gonna help me move this over and then I'm gonna finish building the chicken run when it's in its position. That way we don't have to pick up the whole freaking thing and move it at once. All right, so we're taking a little break. It's really freaking hot outside. It's crazy how hot it is right now when it's literally going to be in the 40s tonight and it is 86 degrees out right now. It's freaking nuts. So I'm headed over right now to get the silky chicken eggs. And then uh, we gotta go grab an incubator. And then we're gonna head on back here, finish up the coop and show you how I'm gonna set up the incubator and how I'm gonna set up everything for the chicks and all of that as well. <laughs> look, at, look at all these chickens. Look at these guys. Hello. Oh my God, it's so funny. I love this chicken coop. Like the roof. I gotta get some. Yeah, well, I've been like studying all this crap for like a couple months now because I've been trying to get ready to get some chickens. Hello. How are you guys? Very cool. Hey guys. Hello. Oh, that's a rooster? Like the mullet, yeah. Oh, gotcha. Oh, man, you guys are loud. This is gonna be so much fun. Well, that was pretty awesome. I didn't want to put them on camera and make them feel weird or anything, but they were both super nice people. Silkies of Loxahatchee, thank you guys very, very much. So right here, we have 12 chicken eggs. These are all painted. So these are those black and whites that you just saw. And then these guys are just an assortment of colors. Now, obviously we don't really know the sex of anything and there's no real way to uh, even incubate the eggs a certain temperature to get the right sex that you want. So what I'm gonna have to do is we're gonna have to, obviously I don't want a million roosters because you, you heard how loud that was and my property is loud enough. I just wanna keep one rooster and then the rest will be hens that we're gonna, you know, they're gonna be our egg laying hens for our food and whatever else we would like to use them for. And then whatever comes out to be an extra rooster, I'll give them to a friend or figure out what to do with the whole situation from them. But we'll get there when we get there. Um, you can DNA sex these guys. So once they're born, I just pretty much have to wait and get a little feather off of each one you know, put it in a bag, make sure that everybody's like, you know, figure out what's what and remember what is the sex when the results come back. So that way I can sort them out accordingly, but we'll figure it out. I'm not too worried about it. 12 chickens. I feel like it's going to be great. I'm super excited about it. I can't wait to have chickens at the property. Just not only for breakfast, but just, dude, they're awesome. They're funny little fluffy creatures. I love them. And birds, the, the personalities are just hilarious. So right now we're going to head over to Tractor Supply. We're going to pick up the incubator. Here we go. We made it back. So the Nutrite 360, this incubator has everything. It's got an automatic egg turner. It also has a hydrometer that's going to take care of the humidity, keep everything at the right level. And this is pretty much, it's right here on the box. This is what you want to keep it at for the chickens. 99.5 degrees and then 55 for the humidity. It's a little bit off, but dude, this thing is going to be sick. Makes my life super easy. I'm going to go finish the chicken coop, show you guys what that looks like real quick. And then we're going to set this incubator up at the end of the video, show you how I'm going to keep that in 21 days from today is when they're gonna hatch. Super fast, 21 days, that's freaking crazy. Reptile eggs, for example, imagine if it was that fast, just 21 days for incubation. All right, so we are almost done with this stinking thing. I'm ready to move on to bigger and better things already. So all I gotta do is get the end piece on, get the top pieces on, and that's it. The only thing that I'm gonna do still on here but obviously I don't have to do just yet because the chickens haven't hatched. I got 20, I got even longer than 21 days to figure it out. The chickens are gonna stomp the crap out of this grass and dirt area. And then it's gonna get really muddy, which is gross. The chickens get disgusting, they get covered in mud. 
So what I want to do is get some clay sand and put sand all on the bottom of here. That way it's just easier to clean, keep my chickens way cleaner as well. It's a lot easier to deal with. And then we just got to put the hay in the nest boxes and this is pretty much wrapped up. So, freaking cool. Alright, time to get this thing all situated. Look at this incubator. So cool. Nurture Ride 360. Hey, baby. Hey. Excuse me, Tana Baby. Would you like me to take you out? Hello, hello, Tana Baby. It's crazy that these chickens are only going to be incubated for 21 days. And she had to get incubated for nine months. Crazy. Oh, look at our Christmas tree. We got all the presents ready to go. Baby's first Christmas is going to be so nice. All right, let's get these chickens set up. All right, so this thing is pretty easy to use. You just fill it up with water. It regulates everything up here. The temperature is already preset. The humidity is already preset. The only thing that you really have to adjust is the last three days that the chickens are gonna be incubating. You have to fill up the other water spot. So there's two water reservoirs on here. The first one is for the first duration of it, the first 18 days, and then the last three, you fill up both and you're gonna raise the humidity up a little bit for the eggs, so that way it's easier for them to come out of the eggs and hatch. You know, it's not gonna be so dry. And that's pretty much it. You have to keep it in an area where it's 74 to 80 degrees at all times. So we're gonna set this up in our laundry room. Um, I was gonna put them in the garage, but it's gonna get way too cold in there the next couple days, like I was saying before. It's gonna get down to 40 degrees tonight, if and colder possibly. Or I was gonna keep them in the kitchen so we could just look at them every day, but it gets too cold in our house. Gianna likes to keep it at like 60 degrees at night, so we're super cold. So I don't want them to freeze to death. So that's it. I'm just gonna get this thing all set up. What? <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna get this set up. I'll show you guys where I'm gonna put it real quick and then we're gonna finish this video. It's gonna be fun. So let's take the, uh, open up this guy right now. There we go. Now this thing's really cool too. So it has an automatic egg turner. Chicken eggs, obviously reptile eggs, when you incubate them, you just leave them in their thing. You never touch them. You just keep them in there, make sure the humidity and the temperature is okay. And that's it. Chicken eggs, you have to turn them twice a day. So this slowly turns the chicken eggs throughout the day. So you don't have to do that. It's really cool. Everything is automatic. This is a really good, really good incubator. So we just gotta take these guys, look at the eggs. You see these eggs, baby? Look, these little chicken eggs. They're gonna be fluffy chickens for you to terrorize around the property. So you got some chicken poop on that one. Oh, you like that? Uh, I wish you guys could see Gianna's face right now. <laughs> you see her little arm on her hand like that? Yes, look at that. Little mama, baby. There we go. So we're gonna put all these in there. We got 12 eggs. No, it's okay. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. It's okay. Get these all set up and then that's it. So a bunch of these are the painted ones with the white and black ones. And then the other ones are assorted. So they could be whatever colors, black ones, brown ones, spotted ones, not nice spotted ones. It's okay. It's okay, baby. Are they all fluffy? All fluffy. Remind me of the Spice Girls. Big old fluffy chickens. That is it. Boom. It's getting to temperature. The humidity obviously is really high right now. That'll get all situated here in a minute. That's it, guys. Super easy, automatic egg turner. I love it. And that is it, my friends. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I can't wait to have chickens running around the property, having them out. I gotta, I'm gonna set up something eventually bigger. This is just the start, okay? AV, tune in or however the heck you say it. Thank you guys so much for sending me out that chicken coop. I'll put the link down below for everything. So you guys, if you want to get one of these chicken coops at home, super easy to put together. Especially if you're on a time crunch and you just need to throw something together super fast. Very convenient. Everything is already prefabricated. You just got to put it together. Um, Eventually, we're gonna be upgrading everything. Like I said, everything is just temporary right now. Everything is gonna get huge, awesome, great enclosures. I'm gonna be building an epic chicken coop, like my version of a chicken coop, okay? So stay tuned for that down the road. We're gonna get more chickens, more kinds of chickens too. I don't want just silkies. I wanna do all sorts of different kinds of chickens. There's a lot of really cool ones out there. So we're gonna have a little variety. 
They're gonna have their own area fenced in. Gotta keep them away from predators. There's coyotes all over the place out here. Raccoons all over the place. There's all sorts of things that'll just come on your property and murk all your animals. So we gotta make sure everybody stays super safe. My bird Taruk is coming home. Christmas Eve. By the time you guys see this video, it's gonna be past that, but I'm so freaking excited to get to Rook finally. We're gonna set her up somewhere really cool on the property. Make sure she's nice and happy and cozy. Maybe bring her boyfriend here. I don't really know. Um, but till then, guys, appreciate you guys for watching. TylerNolanTattoos.com for all of your merch. I love you guys. Hope you enjoy this. Make sure you can subscribe to the channel and you hit that like button and leave a comment down below. Things that you want to see in the future. Let me know what you think about the property. And just everything that we're doing lately. Um, I'm still looking for a volunteer over here. If you live close to Loxahatchee, hit me up. Send me an email, please. I really need some. I need, really need a ranch hand to come out here and just, just help me out a little bit. You know, we got a lot of animals. There's a lot to do. Can't do it all myself. So thank you. Love you. Bye.